Hey, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to switch gears a bit. We usually install VirtualBox with different operating systems on Windows. And this time we're going to be installing VirtualBox on a Mac. And the operating system that we're using is Big Sur, but it also applies to previous versions like Catalina. So let's get started. Now, before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this channel. And if you're on YouTube, hit the alert notification. So to get started, the first thing we're going to do is open up our browser. And on this one, we're going to be using Chrome and we're going to head over to Google and type in VirtualBox. Now VirtualBox is going to be the first thing that shows up. VirtualBox.org is the official URL. And we're going to click on the first link here and it'll take us to the home page. So if you click on downloads on the left hand side, you can see that we have versions for Windows, Mac OS, Linux, Solaris. We're going to be using the OS X download by clicking on it and it's automatically going to download the DMG file for us. So now that it's completed, we can go ahead and click and open it up and we'll just minimize the browser. So to begin unpacking, we're going to double click on this icon and it's going to ask us if we want to allow it now because Depending on your operating system, we can just click on allow and begin the installation. If you don't get this prompt, you have to make adjustments in your system preferences. To continue with the installation, we want to click on the continue button and then click on install. Now we're not changing the folder here. You can change the folder, whatever you'd like, but we're going to leave it as default. And before I begin the installation, it's going to want to type in the password. This is the user password of your PC. So you type it in and it'll begin to extract and install the files. And here we go, the installation was successful. So the installation was successful. We can click close. It's gonna to wanna to trash the files. But if you're having any issues installing this application on your Mac OS, what you can do is head over to System Preferences, which is the Apple menu, and then down to System Preferences. And then what you're gonna to wanna to do is head over to Security and Privacy to enable a feature. So we'll go over to the icon and double click on it. And then inside Security and Privacy, we just wanna click on the General tab. And inside the general tab down at the bottom, we have this section called allow apps downloaded from. We always want to make sure that the second option is selected. So it's shaded out right now. And the way to enable it is to click on the padlock at the bottom. So you click on the padlock and you get prompted for a username and password. Your username is going to be the default one for your system and then the password associated with it. Hit enter and it unlocks it. So now you can see that the features are available and you can select the second one. And you can just close out of it and then begin the installation. So in this case, we've successfully finished the installation. We can move everything to the trash. It's going to delete all the installer files that were really, that's no longer needed. And now we can launch the application. So we're going to close the installer window and we're going to go down to the launch pad, click on that. And then we can swipe over to the right to the newly installed VirtualBox icon. That's right there. You can click on it. It's going to launch it. And then when it loads up, we'll have the VirtualBox manager here. So this is exactly like the Windows version and other versions. You can just click on new and then you can get a hold of your ISO or image file, bring it in here, point to the version type and create your virtual machine. And you can be up and running with a virtual operating system. So it's pretty straightforward from this part on. And this is how you install the VirtualBox manager on uh, Mac OS Big Sur. So I hope you found this useful. If you did, please give us a thumbs up. If you have any questions, go ahead and put them in the comments below. I'll do my best to answer them. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.